In this short demo, we'll have a look at the NetBiter Argos web interface and see how you can monitor and control your equipment remotely using a NetBiter Remote Management Gateway. I go to netbiter.net and log into my account, which I received after purchasing a NetBiter Gateway. The first screen is a list of all projects that I have up and running. I choose NetBiter Demo Project and get to a list of all the NetBiter units I have installed in this project. In this case, we have 10 different NetBiters in different locations. I can see the exact location of each NetBiter by clicking the Map tab. Returning to the System Start page, I can see whether my NetBiters are online or offline, and also check whether there are any alarms that I should be aware of. By clicking the Help button, I can quickly see what the different alarm symbols mean. Let's say I want to have a closer look at the temperatures in my mountain cabin. This is a very simple installation, showing the quality of the current GSM GPRS signal, the indoor temperature, and the outdoor temperature. In Alarms, I can see all the alarms that I have set up. For example, I have set up one alarm letting me know if the outdoor temperature reaches 25 degrees Celsius. If that happens, I will get an email notification and a cell phone text message. In this screen, I can see all the latest alarms. In Historical Data, I can gather statistics and reports on my equipment. I do this by simply selecting the period of time I want to look at and click View Trend Graph. This gives me an overview of the signal, the indoor temperature, and the outdoor temperature for the past four months. I can also download the statistics in several different formats. The Map tab gives me an overview of the exact location of the cabin. I can choose different ways to look at it. A schematic map, satellite, hybrid, or terrain. Notes enables me to type in short notes about service visits or other information that I want to share. The Information tab gives me overview information about my installation, such as device ID, contact person, time zone, etc. Finally, in my dashboard, I can design a graphical overview with the information I need to give me an overview. In this case, I've included a picture of the installation showing me where the different sensors are located and their current values. I can also see a trend graph of my measured values at the bottom. This was a very simple installation, measuring only three things, but I can do more than just monitoring my equipment. I can also start, stop, change parameters, and so on for different equipment. Let's have a look at a power generator we have installed in this project. I have set up my dashboard to measure battery voltage, oil pressure, water temperature, and fuel levels. I can see the output power and reactive power, but I can also start and stop my equipment by a simple click of a button. The equipment status is changed to running, my generator starts on the remote location, and I have just saved myself a service trip. These are just some examples of what you can monitor and control in NetBiter Argos.